Hey, this is Rick. Welcome back to my channel. Rick loves Maria. Um, got a call yesterday that from my fleet manager saying that they need me to get to the headquarters in Marshfield, Wisconsin. Soon they, that they sold my truck that I'm driving. And so I was like, okay, well, I mean, it's not my truck. It's their truck, they, and they sold it. This truck is a 2018, uh, so it's what? One, two, I guess about three years old. has 483,000 miles on it. <laughs> Sometimes the seatbelt won't pull. I have trouble with the seat sometimes trying to slide it forward um, the door sometimes it doesn't want to close you know I mean it's it's a good truck don't get me wrong the windshield over there got a crack in it two weeks ago this one's got scratches in it from old windshield wipers that weren't replaced um, it, I've put about 40,000 miles on this in three months. <clears throat> and, you know, we've gotten, we've become friends, you know. So, um, it's kind of my, my home away from home here. So, anyway, they're going to replace it with something else for me. I presume something newer. I'm not saying that that they're going to give me a brand new truck but who knows they're going to give me something different apparently um, today let's see yesterday I hauled Red Bull up from Virginia up to Erie Pennsylvania today I'm hauling dog food from today I'm hauling dog food <laughs> from that that area up in Erie, Pennsylvania, down to around Joliet, Illinois. <clears throat> 44,000 pounds of dog food. <laughs> it's a lot of dog food. I mean, it's heavy. It's, it, that was zero to 60 takes, really takes like 15 minutes. So, it's a heavy load. Oh, uh, they got me scheduled to go by Gary, and I was excited. I was like, oh, great, I can do my laundry, take a shower, you know, eat a sandwich and all that stuff. But then I got up this morning, and on my clock, it only has an hour and a half. <laughs> so I couldn't even make it to Gary, Indiana. I've already done all my driving for today, and it's only 8.30 in the morning. I mean, <clears throat> you know, I just woke up at 6.00. So anyway, I didn't get far today. On days like this when I can't drive far, I tend to record some videos. So, stopped here. Um, last night I spent I spent the night at Indian Meadows again on 80. Today I'm at a rest area in Ohio. They got a 7-Eleven, so I got a big uh, Slurpee. <laughs> and some bagel chips. So... Uh, stuff to enjoy so it'd be interesting to see what kind of a truck upgrade they they give me so anyway <clears throat> um, I was talking with my friend about looking for a little house and um, I was looking at maybe joining the Florida fleet they have a fleet that's just internal to Florida. There's no openings right now, but there, there was, uh, you know, the, the, I'm in touch with the guy, and he said there, you know, will be one at some point. Anyway, um, I'm, I may, I'm looking at a little house down there. That's about eighty thousand for a small house <clears throat> down there. Right now, it's a seller's market. Um, there's. There's more buyers out there looking than there are houses on the market. So that's not good for me right now because I really want to get my own place. And I just assume not it not be in any state that gets cold. 
I thought I, I think I see snowflakes coming down here this morning in Ohio and I'm like not happy about that it says 41 degrees on my on my thermostat in the truck <clears throat> so anyway I'm gonna be parked here for the rest of the day probably watching snow come down eating my bagel chips um what's going on in the Philippines um they've got more COVID cases over there they're they've been having some some lockdowns over there in a lot of places um, it's, it seems to be getting worse there's some reports that the embassy is opening up and doing more but I don't see how if, they, if they're having an increase in cases um, in some areas of Metro Manila I see where they are starting to give out the vaccine um, <clears throat> I, I don't know if it's to the general public yet or what. But anyway, they are starting to... But it's only in Manila. It's not even where Maria lives. So, kind of... It's still... It's like they're still not quite where they need to be over there. I worry about them getting it. Getting the virus over there. Because they're all in, when it's in a small two-bedroom a little apartment <clears throat> they don't have a whole lot of space to separate you, you couldn't quarantine somebody or get away you know it's it's tight over there so I'm worried about them getting it more than anything um they say that if you have proof of your vaccination that you could go visit the Philippines right now that they are open to tourism <clears throat> I think they're desperate for the money because they haven't had any tourism in a while but um, I don't think they're gonna get a whole lot of tourism happening right now <clears throat> I had my first Moderna but I gotta go back and get the second one and I, I, I would go back and get it as soon as possible if I could so I'm ready to get that second one done um, I am looking at a small house down in Florida um, with my friend <clears throat> she's helping me out I'm, I'm turns out I'm getting a decent tax refund and I may be able to put a down payment on one and that would be good that would be good so I hope it happens it may be a couple more another month or two though I don't know <clears throat> these things take time and it's hard to do from the truck um, it's not like I can run down there and do an inspection or take a look at it um, in person I'll, everything can be done over the the video chat you know on the old inter interweb so that's the process at this point so um, a replacement truck I'll let you know what that looks like when I find out what they're gonna give me um, you know this one's got a few scratches and and things here and there it's, you know kinda dirty some things it's just an old truck you know uh, but it's only it's only three years old and I like it it's been uh, we've been through some tough stuff together we went through some snow and I've I've gotten used to driving it you know you get used to driving something you get you just want to you want to keep it you want to stay with it you get used to it and you kind of know what to expect you know how it's going to react so anyway um, I'm only two hours from Gary but I didn't have enough time to get there today it's a rainy day rainy cold day it's spring, but it is spring grass is green leaves are popping out on the trees I mean if it wasn't so cold and 
you would think it was a beautiful spring day. They got a 7-Eleven in here, a Starbucks, a Popeye's. Uh, I think Popeye's, everything's fried. Um, Starbucks, everything's overpriced. 7-Eleven's okay. You got stuff that, that's in small quantities. And they overcharge, of course, for, for stuff. It's kind of expensive. But anyway, I got, a, I got the Slurpee thing. So I'm happy with that. I'll work on my brain freeze. These things are good. You can get, get a brain freeze. <laughs> I, I love these. I love these Slurpees, man. <laughs> they keep you cold. And so anyway, they're good. All right. Um, what else is going on in the Philippines? You know, we, we got the car fixed. Um, the air con's working over there. Um, so... That's good. Um, I think uh, Zoe's going back to school. They've, they're they uh, letting her come back to school. So that's probably a good thing, too. They can, uh, you know, she can work on her studies. So um, that's all I know. So it, it is... April 15th, this would normally be tax day, when you have to have your taxes done. I had mine done, <clears throat> I get mine done at H&R Block, it's a little bit expensive, but it's worth it, I think it's worth it. I do get a refund this year, I'm surprised, I'm shocked, because um, I rarely get a refund. And I need I needed it because I got I can't afford to pay. <clears throat> so I'm shocked to get a refund. So that's it. I'm working as hard as I can. Is if as long as I can get the hours to drive each day, I'm driving as much as I can. Um, you know, I get held up at some places, loading and unloading. And they and that just eats up my hours. And um, like yesterday, I was there and I had six hours on the clock. <clears throat> I even arrived early. And by the time I left, but see, I couldn't claim detention pay because uh, I arrived early, and they didn't keep me past the two hours past my appointment. So anyway. It still ate up. It still ate up uh, some time, so I only had about three hours I could drive yesterday. I got down here to I-80, east of Toledo, thankfully. And being on a toll road is good because not every there's not a, not a whole lot of traffic. I mean, you get you got to pay to drive on it, so it's not as busy as a public road would be you know what I mean so anyway <clears throat> um, it's I actually got a good I actually got a good shower at the travel plaza uh, it's called Indian River uh, they have free showers there so that's not bad all right well rain 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 huh April showers bring May flowers. Let's hope so. Stay safe. Thanks.